A perfect movie makes you feel something. Perfect Days is directed by Wim Wenders and stars Koji Yakusho and is one of the most refreshingly inspiring films I've ever seen. So what is it about this movie that I love so much? Hiriyama is a simple man that wakes up every morning, waters his plants, and goes to work for the Tokyo toilet. Outside of his structured routine, he cherishes music on cassette tapes, reads books, and takes photos on his film camera. Through unexpected encounters, he finds a deeper appreciation for the beauty around him. First, we're presented with the pleasure of viewing this film in a 4x3 aspect ratio. This is a choice that I appreciate. Not very many films today are shot this way, and it's very much an old-fashioned aspect ratio. This was not only a stylistic choice, but also a necessary ratio for this movie because the film was shot in many cramped places such as the Tokyo toilets, as well as Hiriyama's home. If this film had been shot in CinemaScope, we as the viewers would not have been able to see the floor. The use of diegetic sound is used almost exclusively in this movie. Diegetic means you only hear what sounds are present in the character's world. This is seen most clearly when Hiriyama is driving in his van and he plays a cassette. Sometimes I feel so happy. You feel like you're right there with him listening to his favorite songs. The soundtrack for this film consists of basically all these songs you hear him playing during his commute to clean toilets. The songs are so beautiful and inspiring. I'll be honest, I haven't stopped listening to the soundtrack since I first watched this movie. The ambient sounds in this film I could fall asleep to. They're so relaxing and real. That is what I think stands out the most to me about this movie. It feels like you're actually there experiencing these moments. The best word I could use to describe this is authentic. The colors and light in this film are stunning. First, I love the early morning scenes in Hiriyama's home where you see the purple cast of light from his room where he keeps his plants and the soft warm glow of his floor lamps. Then we see simple things such as the light above his door that casts an orange glow behind him as he steps outside acting as a backlight. Tokyo any time of day is full of vibrant colors and light, from the elaborate architecture of the toilets he cleans to the big cityscapes we see at night. Perfect Days was shot on very high-end cinema cameras such as the Sony Venice. This allowed the filmmakers to show Tokyo in a very special way. They didn't have to add any light to the shots. The director, Wim Wenders, said that this was the first time where his DOP had to take off light instead of add it. Everything in Tokyo was too bright, so he had to dim it down. They were able to shoot quite fast because everything in this movie is handheld. They had to shoot fast because Koji only had 15 days available to shoot this movie because he was going on to shoot a big samurai movie. It's amazing how intentional and slow this movie is considering how rushed they were with the production. You wouldn't notice from watching the movie. This fast production allowed the film to have almost a documentary feel, where you feel like you're just brought along on this man's day-to-day -day routine and adventures. It's really quite relaxing compared to most of today's movies where it doesn't seem like there's time to just breathe stand still, and take in the beauty of simplicity. This movie makes me want to take in more of those simple moments and enjoy what God has given us. Koji Yakusho, secretly, without telling his director Wim Wenders, worked a week as an actual toilet cleaner in Japan to prepare for his role as Hiriyama. I want to end by quickly breaking down the last scene of this movie. The slow push into Hiriyama's face is both uncomfortable and meaningful. As the song Feeling Good plays, which is such a great song by the way, you feel all the same emotions that swipe across Hiriyama's face in this last scene. It's so powerful and I honestly can't stop thinking about it. With all this said, if you want to see a film that both inspires and challenges you, then please go see Perfect Days. It is a masterpiece of cinema and deserves to be talked about. If you're looking for more content like this, please like and subscribe and check out these other videos I made on movies that have inspired me. Thanks guys.